this is going to be a, a fairly rough demonstration on how to paint a portrait. And I start with a an oval representing the head, about the size and position on the page I want it. I split it in half, both directions, horizontally and vertically, and. Uh, and I, that'll be the uh, position of the eye is the first division, about halfway down. But one eye apart. And halfway between there and the chin would be the nose. And halfway between the nose and the chin will be the center of the lips. Center of the eye will meet the edge of the mouth. And these are just basic mechanics you know your own model is going to vary slightly so compare the length of the nose and size of the eyes and size of the forehead etc with your own reference and that gets the that'll get the likeness the model you're trying to replicate and uh, just make the refinements now, you know, just position things. I want to uh, use this kneaded eraser to get rid of some of the guidelines. Just a bit, just enough to make it easier to remove more if I have to. This information, you need really good reference. So you need a good photograph or a good model. Get these refinements, just a little on the nose and mouth. And now, rather delicate line here to get the shape of the cheek and the cheekbone and the chin around the jaw. It's got to be a fairly pleasing line, fairly accurate line. You figure how the hair cuts in across the forehead. Now, I'm going to take a graphite stick and just block in some tone. You could leave it as a line drawing if you just want to practice. In fact, if you practice that part up until now, uh, that's a great way to get you going, capturing uh, proportions and likeness. But I just want to demonstrate the application of some tone here, so to get a little more three-dimensional look. Now, I'm using a 4B pencil now because it, that gives me a little more accurate application. The graphite stick is pretty bold. Now, uh, two H, this is a much harder pencil, 2H, and it'll just put in some subtle tone. It'll actually smear some of the softer graphite that's down there. So you might want to just use it as a tool to, to blend, but it does add a little bit of its own graphite to the paper as well. And now back to the 4B to get a bit more dark and around the neck. This is a soft, dry watercolor brush and it too will help blend really, really more delicate. And it also will rub in some of the graphite into the white texture of the paper. Simple straight press and lift strokes to get the hair kind of shine a little bit. And in some of the dark places, if you pinch this eraser really thin, you can get a bit of a light streak off. 
So you have a little bit of light here going over the dark area. And you need to refine that, break it up a little, make the hair just a little finer than the, than the eraser will allow. So those are some of the techniques I use in creating a, a rough sketch like this.